a lot of things have changed in the world of entertainment and media and we're going to go through and look at uh, some of the most important uh, and uh, basically extremely important uh, media companies globally. produced in uh, India uh, and China um, of course they have a lot more population there um, so that may be uh, actually expected but uh, Nigeria actually is uh, by some estimates some people say they're producing a lot of films and if you ever searched on YouTube uh, for uh, like West African films um, you know there's a lot of uh, pretty interesting uh, Nigerian films um, and even uh, Japan um, you know, you probably heard of a lot of these uh, video game companies and then also uh, just their, uh, you know, they, there's a lot of just other films as well. So, uh, but in addition to that, uh, you can also see South Korea, uh, France, United Kingdom, Spain, Germany, Argentina, Mexico, Italy, Brazil, and Turkey. Uh, but this is only, you know, a small, uh, you know, there's still a lot of other films being produced. Um, I shouldn't say necessarily, uh, you know, but, uh, but anyway, uh, just to get us started on some of the data science uh, about film and the film industry. Uh, so I don't know, I've been uh, really studying a lot of things uh, based on a log graph, uh, so like base 10 or some other uh, base, but you can kind of see here that India, Nigeria, China, and Japan, and the United States are kind of in a different league uh, in terms of how many films they're producing every year. Uh, South Korea is kind of making some progress, but in some senses, South Korea produces about half as many uh, films as the United States. But then again, uh, you know, South Korea is a very small country relative to the United States. So even though, yes, you know, these top four or so, or top five, uh, are basically producing a lot more films, and certainly even India is producing a lot more films, uh, even than in these uh, by these standards uh, but uh, there's basically you know a couple different steps so there's basically you know South Korea France the United Kingdom and then Spain Germany Argentina and then kind of Mexico Italy and Brazil and then Turkey so these are kind of you know it's kind of different uh, groupings here in terms of how many films so that's definitely an area to study like why certain areas are producing way more films uh, for example, South Korea uh, being such a smaller country, uh, and even a lot of these places in Europe, uh, you know, uh, you know, maybe uh, one third the size of many of the other countries in terms of geographic uh, size. Uh, so anyone that's really looked at to data science on this kind of stuff realizes that you know sometimes the numbers can be meaningless in different areas. Uh, depending on how you your perspective. So what about a uh, number of actual real admissions tickets into the theater? So that, that number actually changes. You can see the United States moves up, uh, but actually uh, so does, uh, and a lot of other places uh, actually move down. Uh, so and you can see actually Mexico shows up as number four in the world here uh, for uh, going to the theater. So. Uh, so it's just different, uh, you know, th this is a very important area. And then I also have an exponential graph here that you can kind of look at. Um, but uh, basically, uh, India and China. Uh, and then also, interestingly, you can see uh, United Kingdom kind of shows up here uh, in terms of uh, real admissions tickets. But there's kind of a flat level here. Uh, but obviously, some of these countries have more people than others. Uh, you know, uh, like, for example, Brazil has... a uh, 220 million people uh, in their country, which is almost the size of the United States. Uh, well, two thirds of the United States um, and the uh, United States, uh, but yet it has maybe say one fifth or less even of uh, actual people going uh, to the theater. So uh, it is important to think about that in terms of per capita as well. So um, <clears throat> these are the per capita numbers here, uh, and you can kind of see. So. Uh, 
you know, this is a, a different uh, number entirely, um, but you can basically see South Korea and the United States and France and the United Kingdom actually are uh, kind of the leaders, and then the, uh, Mexico and so on. So when you compare that to, uh, you know, basically the number of real tickets, so basically it was India, China, the United States. So raw number of people, yes, uh, they're the kind of most number of people, but in terms of... Uh, the number, the at, like if you do the percentage based on the population, basically South Korea is the highest, um, and then United States, and then probably France, uh, and then uh, Mexico. So Mexico kind of shows up here as a new uh, important area for film, um, at least in terms of actual people going to the theater versus the population size of the entire country. Uh, so, uh, lastly, uh, what about money being made uh, from the film industry? And this, again, is not uh, including online. This is basically tickets uh, in terms of uh, going to the theater. Um, you know, I haven't been to the theater in a very long time. So, uh, you know, basically, we, so, you know, the, the, the truth of that matter is basically China and the United States. Um, and then basically uh, everyone else here you can kind of see. So, uh, but when you look at the log graph, you can kind of see uh, that India and Japan, and even Japan is making a little bit more money than uh, India here. Uh, but uh, basically, uh, you know, there is a big market for everyone else outside of uh, China and the United States. Um, but uh, even that, they're not really on the same uh, log scale as the others. So you see that basically about 50% of the uh, total revenue is made in the United States and China. So basically 25% in the United States and 25% in uh, China, right? And then if you take uh, basically uh, India, Japan, uh, United Kingdom, and South Korea, and then even France, so basically uh, you have to take uh, that to get another 25%. So basically Europe is about 25% as well. Um, and South America maybe uh, 15% or so Latin America. Um, but uh, just to kind of give you an overview of the finances. So, uh, but this does not answer the question in terms of online. So we all know that uh, some of the world's most important websites like YouTube um, are online websites uh, that have to do with media. Uh, so of the world's uh, top 20 or so websites, uh, basically about half of them, uh, or maybe even a little more than half, are uh, Asian websites, uh, and particularly with China. So uh, if, now of the bottom half of the very, very uh, most important websites, so this is of the top, say, 50, you can see a little more diversity. Uh, you see basically that same Indonesian website, a Russian uh, website, Canadian, and uh, Japanese, and uh, of course some more Chinese companies, and even uh, South Korea and India here. So. Uh, the only interesting thing is, uh, you know, basically why there isn't really any Indian, um, major Indian websites on these. It could be that this data is not correct. So we don't really know, uh, in a lot of senses, uh, what's really going on and even how we measure this. It's kind of vague, uh, just uh, some other websites definition of what the top, say, 50 websites are in the world. <music>
hope you've been, really enjoyed this uh, discussion of uh, international film. Uh, there's a lot of different ways to look at this. Um, certainly this isn't the best way, but uh, it is a way and we'll maybe uh, try to add on this in the future and look at some more details, hopefully way more interesting as well.